In this video, I want to show you an amazing buffalo style cauliflower. So this is a whole head cauliflower prepared buffalo style. You got a nice ranch sauce that goes on top, crumbled blue cheese and chives. This is an amazing vegetable side dish for your next dinner. Before I get into the recipe video, check the description box below. But enough talking, let's get cooking. The first thing we gotta do is clean up this big old cauliflower. So I'm gonna take a paring knife or utility knife, I think a chef's knife, a little too big for this. And we're just gonna work this in a circle, pointing towards the center till we can pop that core out. Once we pop the core out, we're just gonna peel off any of these excess leaves and this cauliflower is cleaned and good to go. Now that we got that cauliflower cleaned up, let's make our ranchy sauce. I'm gonna go with a base of Greek yogurt and a light sour cream. I like to cut the calories whenever I can. You could use mayo instead of those two ingredients. We're also gonna throw in some Dijon mustard. Here's a little bit of my base seasoning, which is a blend of garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and pepper. There's a link to the video recipe in the description. We're gonna put in some dried parsley, a little bit of dill, this is enough dill to last me the rest of my life. We're also gonna put in a really nice ingredient that I like to keep on hand. This is powdered buttermilk. This is great to make any of these sauces. I never really have buttermilk on hand. If you keep the powdered stuff, you can do it at any time. We're also gonna add in a little bit of white vinegar for some acidity and a little bit of water just to thin this out. Now we're gonna go in with our whisk and we're gonna mix all these ingredients together. Whisk really helps mix stuff. It's the ultimate mixer. And we're just going to add little bits of water till we get the right consistency and turn this into a nice sauce that can come out of the squeeze bottle. We're going to taste as we go, and this sauce is good to go. doesn't need anything else. So now we're going to use our cutoff milk gallon container and put this inside the squeeze bottle. And we're going to set this in the fridge to let all those flavors develop. More bay seasoning. We found the bottom of this one. And this is going to be the start of the spice rub that we're going to use to cover this cauliflower. So we're going to put in some smoked paprika. This is the barbecue rub from Rib Rack. We're also going to add some baking powder to this spice rub to get a nice crust on the outside. And this is the Davis brand that I used. Doesn't have any aluminum in it. In my last video, the trolls were eating me up for using baking powder that has aluminum in it. So trolls, I found one that doesn't have it. Please go away. Now... In this large sauce pot, we're just going to add these whole garlic cloves to some olive oil, and we're just going to cook these down just to get a little bit of a cook on them. Now we're going to add this whole container of vegetable broth, and this is going to be the start of the broth that we're going to cook that whole head of cauliflower in. And now we're going to go in with just a light beer. I just happen to have a can of Bud Light hanging around, but you can use any beer that you'd like. I prefer a light beer like a Pilsner. And now we're gonna go in with some red hot for that buffalo flavor. What an amazing sauce that we're making for this cauliflower. And an additional flavor enhancer, we're gonna go in with the better than bouillon paste. This is one of my favorite flavors, the sauteed onion bouillon paste. Super duper yummy. And now we're just gonna mix this all together and bring this up to a simmer. And before we put the lid on, we're going to throw in two dried bay leaves. This is going to add some really nice depth of flavor to this broth. So lid goes on top, and let's bring this up to a boil. Once this hot tub has reached temperature, we're just going to give this one final mix, and then we're going to put in our cauliflower. And this is going to go in, and we're going to take... A ladle and we're gonna ladle that broth right on top to make sure this thing gets soaked up with all this flavorful liquid I'm trying to get it in all the nooks and crannies in that cauliflower flavor from the inside out on this one so after giving this the love treatment we're gonna put the lid on top we're going to let it cook, and maybe about every couple of minutes we're going to come in and we're just going to ladle more of that liquid on top because this is steaming. And But we always want to make sure that we're getting a lot of flavor in on that cauliflower. After a couple times, we're just going to flip this over a little bit. A little bit more ladle love. Spooning this beautiful liquid on top of this thing, infusing it with all this buffalo flavor. 
I couldn't find my spider, so I had to find a nice slotted spoon to take this out. But I'm going to be really careful. And I'm making sure I'm cooking it not until it's super duper soft. We just want to cook it just a little bit because this is going to cook the rest of the way inside the oven. I'm going to preheat my oven to 375 and I'm going to put the convection setting on. And now we're going to add some olive oil to that spice rub that we made before. And I'm going to mix this until this turns into a nice runny paste consistency that I can spread all over the top of the cauliflower. And like this is what you're going for, like wet cement consistency. And so now I'm just going to spoon this over the top of the cauliflower. And the best way to get it on is with your hands. You know, the cauliflower is really hot. Did I just say cauliflower? I meant cauliflower. I don't know where that came out from. Now I'm going to rub this till I get this in all the nooks and crannies on the outside of this cauliflower. And once this is well coated, we're going to transfer this over to a baking tray lined with aluminum foil and parchment paper for extra cleanup. And we're going to send this in that preheated oven for about 20 minutes until we get a nice crust on the outside. And here at Chef Ange, we have a very strict policy as no flavors left behind. So we are not going to throw out this beautiful broth. We're going to strain it. We're going to ladle this into some containers and we're going to freeze this. I'm already thinking I'm going to make a really nice buffalo chicken soup out of this. So this is going to go inside the freezer and we're going to save this for a future episode. And I'm going to make sure that I label it so I can know what it is when I see it later. Stuff gets lost in the freezer all the time without labels. And now look at the beautiful crust that's developed on the outside of this. So I've melted some butter inside this mug in the microwave and I'm just adding a little bit more of that Frank's Red Hot. Now we're gonna come with our silicone basting brush and we're gonna brush this all over the outside for the last flavor that's gonna go on this wonderful cauliflower dish. Or should I say cauliflower? So now we're gonna transfer this over to our serving platter and I chose to use this serving board. And now we're gonna take our ranchy sauce that we made before that's been sitting in the fridge and we're gonna drizzle this all over the top. We're gonna add some of that crumbled blue cheese. You can add as much as you'd like. I love blue cheese, it's probably one of my favorite cheeses. And a sprinkle of some fresh chopped chives on top for that little pop of color. And now to finish off this beautiful presentation, we're going to take this massive steak knife that my father-in-law stole from a Longhorn Steakhouse once upon a time. And now let us rejoice at this amazing vegetable side dish. Cauliflower, we love you, especially in your full buffalo form. I am super excited to try this. This smells absolutely unbelievable, and I just love buffalo anything. And if you did a good job cooking it, it should cut just nice and tender. It shouldn't be super mushy. And before we eat it, we can dress up each slice just a little bit. So we'll put a little bit of that buffalo sauce, or maybe a lot of bit of that buffalo sauce. A little extra of our ranchy yogurt dressing. Blue cheese is my favorite cheese, so I'm always gonna put a little extra blue cheese on there. I love blue cheese. This thing is still steaming hot. Mm, this is so, so good. The texture of the cauliflower is perfect where it's tender enough that I can eat it, but it's not mush and falling apart in my mouth. I think most people don't like vegetables because they tend to overcook them and then they get super mushy. But this is nice. It's got this tenderness to it, but at the same time, it's got a really nice mouthfeel. I love buffalo. Buffalo, I'm gonna put it on top of anything. Cauliflower is such an amazing vehicle for the buffalo flavor profile. While I'm restraining myself to not finish the rest of this cauliflower, if you want to check out another whole cauliflower recipe, this is my whole roasted cauliflower. If you like buffalo, check out my buffalo chicken meatballs. A lot of similar ingredients to this. That's a really, really nice recipe. I'll see you there. Bye.